Spencer Shea, artist, older brother, and spaghetti taco aficionado. Spencer has also been known to go on a date or two and may have even stolen a kiss here and there. Here's the full story of Spencer Shea's relationships. Turns out she's really fun and cool and single and female and she's coming here to have dinner with me tomorrow night. Ow! Let's start with Connie. Connie was a super cool juggler, but when Spencer found out she was juggling for other guys, let's just say the relationship didn't last long. How come you didn't ask your new girlfriend to model for you? I broke up with Connie, found out she was juggling for other guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it hurt. Then there was Marilyn Raymer, the woman who was sent to make sure the iCarly gang broke their world record. And to make it all official, here's an actual representative from the World Record Committee, Marilyn Raymer. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so they didn't really date, but Spencer tried all night to flirt with her. I love it, because you never know when you're going to find it. Push me! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Oh! The one! Ah, the other boy! Oh, I think we're bonding! Too bad she already had a boyfriend. So come on. How about you and me go get some blinces? Blinces? Yeah. They're thin, sweet pancakes filled with soft cheese, usually served with jelly or jam. I told you, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, well, is he filled with soft cheese? Is he served with jelly or jam? He's a really good guy. I actually met him through work. Who, by the way, never blinks. The guy who never blinks? That's right. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Then there was Miss Ackerman. You remember her as Carly's teacher, right? Well, Spencer and Miss Ackerman Carly. Okay, Spencer dating Miss Ackerman is the best thing that's happened at this school since that lunch lady fell in that giant gravy pot. But Spencer moved on quickly, and while he may not have had a relationship with Sasha Stryker, an awesome pack rat player. Live in Seattle, where Sasha Stryker, the number one pack rat player in the world, has come out of retirement to defend her title against uh, Spencer Shea. The two did share a kiss. Another person Spencer kissed? Mrs. Benson. <coughs> okay, so the two didn't really date, except in Carly's alternate reality. Well, I better let you get off to work. I'll see you this evening. Where they did get engaged. Spencer and I are getting married. <coughs> but this matchup was so not meant to be. And neither was the one between Spencer and Trudy Gallini, who Spencer only dated to get Mr. Gallini's pie recipe. Well, um, then would you uh, consider... Consider what? Uh, maybe sharing the recipe with me? Um, I don't know. Well, I'd pay you for it. I'd rather go on a date with you. I'd pay you for it. Not the best move there, Spencer. Another move that wasn't the best? Pretending to be someone he isn't which is what happened when Spencer wore a tuxedo to impress Veronica. And get this, you know that cute checkout girl at Hate Food? Veronica? Yeah. Well, you know how I always try and flirt with her and she just says, paper or plastic? And I say, come on, why don't you go out with me? And she says, don't make me call the cops. And I say, okay, sorry, plastic. Yeah. All right. Well, today she asked me out. Friday night, baby! It's the power of the tux! But it didn't stop there, because Spencer may have freaked her out when he revealed he faked his own death. I wish I could just hold him one more time. You can't hold me! <laughs> but something Spencer didn't fake? How he didn't really like Miss Fielder, Carly's art teacher. Do you have some problem with the way I'm running my class? Well, since you asked, um, how does painting straight lines help someone learn art? It teaches patience and control, two things you seem to be lacking. But after a few lessons and even a paint fight, the two may have shared a colorful kiss. Okay, I don't understand art at all. But a relationship with Miss Fielder never came to be, and neither did a date with Allison. Allison, this is my bud Freddie. Hi. Hi. And this is Leslie. Hey, Hi. how's nice it going? Nice to meet you. Okay, who's ready to go indoor rock climbing? I couldn't get us a climb time till 8.30. Spencer and Freddy were so focused on the game they were playing that the two missed out on their double date. But that was okay, because Spencer then started dating Charlotte Gibson, who was also Gibby's mom. Gibby? Mom? Oh my god. Guess it's super weird to date the parents of your sister's friends, especially when that friend is Gibby. Because she seemed um, a little weirded out when you found out I was Gibby's mom. Oh, well, not really. No, I mean, Gibby's a great kid, and you're his nice mom. There's 
not a thing. After dating Gibby's mom, Spencer decided it was time for a change of pace and dated Candace, who is super sophisticated. I got a date. Who with? With a real woman. As opposed to? I just mean she's like a really classy lady. Get this. Her name is Candace. Classy. She's the president of her own company. She reads books and she wears pantyhose. Impressive. But things don't go so well when Spencer has to help Carly with her web show, which Candace finds out and isn't happy. <gasps> uh oh! That wasn't very sophisticated! You're all freaks! <laughs> Come again! Bye, Bye baby! Oh, I but her loss, because Spencer moves on to Gia, who also happens to be the sister of his nemesis, Chuck. Who are you? I'm Gia. My daughter. And you're Chuck's sister? Uh-huh. They didn't really date, but Spencer did like her and tried to flirt with her. What is this? Just a little drink I learned how to make at Camp Adam up. If you don't like it, I can take my sister and leave. No, 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 no. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Do you like soccer? Another person who tried to flirt? Jody. Jody was supposed to get married, but when she spies Spencer, things go downhill. And Jody now wants to marry Spencer. Yeah. Thankfully, the iCarly crew saved the day. But that wasn't the only time. Gibby tried to help Spencer translate for his date with Crustacea. She's from Uzbekistan. No way! My bus driver's from Uzbekistan. No way! Because Crustacea and I, we can't really communicate. I mean, not like verbally. Well, Food Tour speaks perfect Uzbek. You'd hook me up? You're hooked, man. Who's the best weirdo in Seattle? Gibby! Gibby! But that didn't end so well. You said he could translate for me. No, I said he speaks Uzbek, which he does. So cool the attitude, all right? They really hit it off. Get it! And remember when Spencer tried getting his art into a museum? Spencer, I'm a fan of your work, and I'd love for you to be represented in this museum. Yay! But... Oh. To get a sculpture in here, you have to fill out an application. Have it examined and approved by the Board of Curators. Get authorization from... Uh, and his kiss with Deidre? Had to do that. Just do it again. Yeah. And another thing that didn't end very well? Moni and Spencer's relationship. Come on, we broke up six years ago! You shattered my heart! Spencer may have accidentally ran her over with his car. And my leg! I didn't see you behind my car! But she's okay now, and still willing to help the iCarly crew out. Carly, have a seat. I'll get the makeup ready. Spencer may not be okay, especially when he tries to date his old babysitter, Jenna, who still treats him like the kid she used to watch. Okay, Spencer, tell you what. What? Since we didn't have dessert, you want me to make you some popcorn? Will ya? After you brush your teeth and get into your pajamas. Why can't I just have- Whiny boys don't get popcorn. I'm not whiny! I'm not whiny! That relationship ends, and Spencer is on to Cassie, who Spencer really enjoys spending time with, especially playing video games. Hey, Cassie. Hey! Mm. Boo! Ooh, yeah, you got the new zombie best squad game! Uh-huh, and all the weapons. Oh, you genius! Come on, let's pop this sucker in and hit play. And there you have it. From alternate reality engagements to his little sister's teacher, Spencer Shea has had a lot of relationships. But even though they may not have lasted long, one that definitely sticks is the one he has with his little sister, Carly. And that is the only one that truly matters. Let's hear for my little sister, Carly Shea! Yeah!